to this week's Wicked Wild Barbecue. Today I'm going to make a dog in a blanket. Not you, my friend. Eh? Not this one. <laughs> Imagine. Alright, go and play. A dog in a blanket. That's a hot dog in a blanket. And this is for my friend Todd Makozak from the USA. He's from New York. So of course, nothing more famous than a New York hot dog. This is a Sherlock hot dog in a blanket with a nice green chili sauce green and red, red chilies and green other stuff and a nice sun-dried tomato mayonnaise now your shopping list for these uh, dishes are as follows hot dogs, bread flour, yeast, salt, water sun-dried tomato oil, sugar Dijon pomery mustard Thai fish sauce onions, red spicy chilies medium chilies, garlic, red onion and green peppers right, the first thing I'm going to make is the bread right so I need my flowers my yeast and my water wherever you are right put that in here and my zip bag right it's not a zip bag it's a bag it doesn't have a zip right anyway moving along alright it's a bit windy out here but again, I'm on one of St. Lucia's most beautiful beaches and have a look at that. There's a lot of seaweed in today, but it is extremely beautiful. Right. Flour. That's all-purpose flour. So I'm using three cups of flour. Right. In here I've got uh, two tablespoons of yeast one tablespoon of sugar and one teaspoon of salt some sun-dried tomato oil approximately half a cup make sure it doesn't run all over the place this is homemade sun dried tomato oil. I just got some nice sun dried tomatoes, roasted them off, put a nice extra virgin olive oil in, uh, brought it to the simmer, left it for about half an hour, then left it to cool. How nice is that, eh? Right, some warm water. That's still a little hot. What I did is brought a flask with me and some bottled cold water just to bring it up to room temperature. And some for moi. Okay. Water. Bring it in. Still going to work the same way as my zip bag stuff does. Gonna have to keep it upright because the yeast will activate and probably burst the top open. We'll see about that anyway. Okay, just give that a little knead. Going to need a little bit more water in there, I think. Yeah. It's all touchy-feely, you know, and I know baking is genuinely a lot more measured, and this is measured to somewhat, and um, some extent. I want to get it there, this on first because this one needs to ferment to prove, as we say. That's better, that's better, right. Give that a squish and a squash and a squish and a squash. We put that on the side for um, approximately one hour, right. For the chili sauce, I'm going to roast my chilies and peppers first. So what we're making here is what I call the book effect, where you roll it in on one side, on top of each other, one another, like that. Open it out, and then it turns out looking like a book. Hence the term, the book effect. Right, chilies. Right. 
red spicy scotch bonnets or as they call them in Mexico carbonaros now these are the uh, less spicy uh, chilies I'm putting them all together some garlic there's my knife it's here all right cutting the garlic in half and I want to roast all this together on the barbecue smell of garlic don't you all the peppers how fabulous is this if I can keep them upright right a uh, little bit of oil some tangerine salt which is a uh, Roasted dried tangerine skins and sea salt. They're dried in the sun or roasted in the oven. These are dried in the sun. 70% salt and 30% um, tangerine skins. All right, back to the book effect. So I put one more on top, one more on top of there, and then make sure you use a good quality thick um, aluminium foil for this because. If you don't, it's going to burn very fast on the barbecue. Right. On top. You'll notice in a few of my videos that I do use this method a fair amount. The reason being is, it's great. This method captures in all the flavours. Now, popping it on the barbie for approximately 30 minutes. Oh, while that's cooking, I'm going to make my mayonnaise, okay? Separate your eggs, like so. One. Keep the yolk, I'm gonna pop those, uh, sorry, keep the whites. I'm gonna pop the whites on ice and I'll use them for a dressing. My friend Ali from the USA is giving me a nice Arabic uh, chili dressing that I'm going to make. So keep the egg whites for that one. Mustard, I'm using pomery mustard. A little bit of salt. And my sun-dried tomato oil, as this is a sun-dried tomato mayonnaise. Okay, right. Gently. Trying not to get it all over the place, making a peak zero that one. That's what we say in English, in England anyway. And if you do split it, there's an easy way of bringing it back. Uh, another egg yolk or boiling water. Hot water. So I don't have another egg. So I've got enough bollocks it up because the um, uh, hot water one isn't that easy to bring back anyway as you know i do make bollocks up and screw this up on my cooking shows and i keep them in because that's what makes it real because even as chefs bugger it up from time to time right it's about how i want it i don't want it too thick i want it like a semi-runny mayonnaise Lime juice, just run it like that on the chopping board. What that does is loosen up all the flavors inside. Like so. Zesty, just how I want it, right. 
look at these mighty fine dogs. Don't be naughty. Right, these are gonna go on the barbie just to get a really nice barbecue flavor. And uh, wow, I'm really starting to get hungry. Now for my caramelized onions, the red onions, I'm using this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this on the barbecue in the skin just to get some flavor. I'm gonna place the other one on the barbie in the skin also for my chili sauce. Now my hot dogs are ready. You just place them on the side because I need to prepare my bread. Bread is ready to roll. Right. I'm not going to use all of this. I'm going to save some for later, for me, for dinner, to make some flatbreads. So cut them into even sized pieces, like so. All right, keep these on the side. So I've got six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So, rolling pin. I'm going to lose everything here. All right, I'm going to over there. All right, and you lot over here. Let's make some space, Sherlock. All right, like so. So rolling away. Like so make sure it's nice and thin. All right. You want to wet um, the bread on one side. So it really sticks to the sausage. So you're going to roll in a diagonal effect, so to speak, a bit like putting the sausages to bed. Now, without knocking those over, get a grip on your pitchfork, keep it straight as possible. All right, one done. Four down. Right. I'm very careful not to knock this in the sand. Huh? Right, one more time. Time. going to do is to roll them in one sequence and put them in one sequence on my um, pitchfork. I had that specially made for kebabs and sausages really. I had them done in Bali. Aren't they cool? Right, next sausage. Water. you've got a firm grip on this and keep the sausage straight. Right. Very good. Now, that 
for the body. Right, so these have been roasting off. Ready? I'm just adding my chilies now, my green peppers. And my charred onion, look at that. Right, just take off all the bits here and give it a little chop first. Like that. Okay, now all my garlic comfy there. This is going to really lose all those flavors. Okay, my orange salt. Hi, fish sauce. Some limes. Chili sauce with a bit of sourness. It's always good, my friends. Nice. One more. Not a lot of lime in that. Check my bread. It's turning. Fraction of sun-dried tomato oil. Get some sun-dried tomatoes as well, I think. An anchovy paste. All right. Let's squash all of that up. Like so. Wash all that together like so. This is really going to be a nice chili sauce, chili salsa. I'm lost for words. Todd, shame you're not here, mate. Spicy, zesty, very spicy, those. Scotch bollocks, my gosh, they're rather warm, I have to say. Um, I think. Oh, all those rusty flavours, man. Sorry, but. Keeps that one. Boy. <clears throat> this is straight off the top of the head by the way. Just down the shop, see what I can buy. And um oh sorry, it's just that good. Right, I gotta do my caramelized onions now. And put that on the side. Oh I can't tell you how far. Sliced onions, just take the tar bit off the top. So that's my bread. Sausage is ready. It's a nice chili sauce on the top. Sambal, not to say, as we say, look at that. I can tell you, I'm sure, just by tasting the sambal, that this is going to be the bomb. Yeah, 
trace of some mayonnaise. And some caramelized onions. So I just reduce these with a bit of sugar, water, and the barbecued onions. That's it. Look at that. How beautiful is that? to dig in, honestly, don't know which part to start. I have to say folks, sorry, silence, huh? absolutely sensational, really, really love that. Todd, I hope you like this, give it a bash at home, I'm sure you can do it, you find a garden spade or shovel or whatever you call um, in your back garden shed somewhere. Um, thanks for checking in, don't forget to check me out on all my social media, Facebook, everything, and um, don't forget Wicked Wild Barbecue every Friday afternoon, GMT four o'clock thanks for checking out and don't forget to subscribe yes here right over my shoulder thank you have a nice weekend and bon appetit